We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. Uh, we cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Yes, yeah, so we're enclosed like bikes. <laughs> is our queen all right? I'm fine. Hey, carpet, don't talk, you dumb bitch. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my philakitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. And let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way, our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Sereno. Tome. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry, it is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Uh, I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. <coughs> yes, legionary. At ease. We will stay in the palace until all politics are concluded. The palace is at your disposition, Caius. Pompey was bound to be. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. You are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <clears throat> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God, kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's at the wine go to vinegar, and my kingdom to pieces. Great lady, your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. 
I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bothinus and Septimius gone. We missed them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Magi's. It's the same as the auto save game. I was like, I was like, as we started the mission, got the whole thing. And again, I couldn't predict the game crashing. Oh, we're back to buy up now. Dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> It is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. <sighs> Sereno. Me he plucked. It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. There must be a way beneath. This is a tighter squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. To now, man. I was expecting snakes. It must be through the sewers. No one had the courage to plunge into Hades' rivers. We are the ones.
the tomb. Incredible. I hope you will provide me with a similar sarcophagus. <laughs> Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade, so I can protect myself in the field of reeds. Promise. These markings along the bottom, they speak of Siwa, the vault, and a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees, where a marked sphere meets its scepter. Man to king, king to god. A marked sphere? What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. These paintings on the wall. stuff he is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It me do you vent? Together, we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar? And starts impressing us. Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. <sighs> Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. I wonder what was going to put on his head. Like, how is he going to benefit from killing the emissaries? What are you doing? Only <laughs> seven hours less. I wonder how the fuck they saw me.
How dare you fucking tell me. Great game, Ubisoft. Great game. Second time it's happened in this game now. Now, well guarded here. Hey, Regret. Somebody just kill me. Finish the damn job. I come to save you. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimians. They are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Then they said they left for. Where? Where? I may have more value. This guy may have more valuable information. I need to bring him back to Caesar. Find your horse. Speaking of horses, one right here. Oh, there's Bayak. But do you have the skill?
You have loyal men, Caesar. Septumius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi. 